Well, this is it, I guess. Rock bottom, I think they call it. <laughs> I still miss him. Billy. I knew he was too young for me. <laughs> but it made me feel good. So, uh, it's the old Billy I really miss. The one who used to do nothing all day with me but listen to the radio and drink. I should have got out sooner when Billy and his buddies started torturing little cats and dogs. His friends were no good, but that didn't stop me anyway. I can't believe my wake-up call was watching people's heads get stuck on spikes. Overseer's Log, town of Flatwoods. My God, there's no one here. The old tavern, the church, people were using them for shelter, but gone. Mutations we expected. But there's something else. A disease. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person. But it had these green glowing lesions and its voice. Angry. Tortured. We are one. One what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but someone's got to know where the missile silos are and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the Overseer, signing off. Volunteer. If you need supplies, Bob's got you covered.
Hi, I am Kesha McDonald. When the bombs fell, I was in Watoka, coordinating the statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we holed up in a house in town for a while. After a bit, I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. The trip from Watoka to Flatwoods. It was rough, mind you. The kids and I ran into a group of assholes in the mountains who stole our food and water. I can't tell you how happy I was to find the responders in Flatwoods. Tents for everyone, open kitchens, medical supplies, protection. <laughs> we were safe. They had a problem, though. Their water sources were contaminated heavily. People were boiling water, but not long enough to make it safe. So, I stepped up and I said, I'll build a testing kit to monitor the contamination and I will teach folks how to properly boil water. <laughs> and I did. The world is getting better, but slowly. We need to make sure it doesn't relapse, too. It's going to take time and care, that's all. Well, time, care, and science.
Reverend Delbert Winters here, born and raised in this very town. Met my own church to the responders for their outpost here, and uh, you're welcome. The responders are on a true mission, you see, helping folks through thick and thin, till the heavens open up again and take us all up anyways. When this all happened, I figured like most, it was time. This was the end, but, but it wasn't, was it? We're still here. At first, I thought it was a mistake, that we was missed, forgotten. Maybe we did something wrong. Hadn't <coughs> given up that charity, maybe. Didn't pray this day, even in the worst of times. Maybe thought some things that ought not to have been thought. So I asked him. I asked how? Why? I fought your wars on Earth. I'm ready to fight them up there by your side. Then, in my despair, I saw some survivors eat raw rat carcass at the dumpster. You ought to cook that first, I warned them. It seemed odd. We tried but got sick, they said, covered in their own filth. I realized right then and there that I was being tasked. From then on, I built kitchens, cooked good food, fed anyone who walked up with an empty belly. And I was thankful for my task in life. Thankful. <laughs> Next time hell or high water land in my stoop, I'll be swept clear away with it. But until then, let's share a home-cooked meal together, all right? Responders, the Mr. Fan hands are out of control. Evacuate civilians and take down those supervisors. Once they're dealt with, you'll have to reboot the server again. <laughs> 